See guys, it's a new year and right now I felt like I need to make this video because even though I'm supposed to still be on holiday, I felt like, look, if I do not go ahead to make this video, I'm just going to be doing a great disservice because then in this case, you don't know what's going on. Then you're going to go online to try to search for something and you're going to be sad because you have just been deceived to buy something that you do not want to have. Even though I'm still on holiday, I felt like, you know what, we are going to talk about this. We're not going to leave these people alone. You know, in December, we talked extensively about it, about the need for you totally buy something that you would be proud of. So today, just the first week of the new year, I understand pretty much where that this is the time that a lot of videos are going to be going out. People trying to recommend you pieces that are not really pieces, pieces that can at best be described as potato pieces. They're going to try to recommend you these pieces and make you feel like this is the PC that's going to solve all your problems. But then you can't be happy because I'm not going to leave you alone like I promised you on this channel. That reminds me, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe because on this channel, I'm going to do my best to make sure that you don't fall victim of buying a PC that will come around to bite you. See, I'm trying to take this out, but I wouldn't know why this is stuck, but I see that there's a screw here. And unfortunately, sometimes it's hard to get in here with your hand. Hang in there. I'm going to get my screwdriver. The last video, I said I wasn't going to forget this screwdriver, but one way or the other, I just keep forgetting to have it by my side. And as soon as the camera starts to roll, it always necessitates me going to grab this. This is the screwdriver I'm talking about. I'm just going to open this screw and take it out right here. So I'm so sorry. I didn't actually let you in on the PC that this is. If you see right here, this is a HP ProDesk 400 GC desktop mini PC. When you're talking about a mini PC, this is what is referred to as a mini PC. Don't be deceived. There are so many recommendations for mini PC right now. Actually, in January, every year is the same thing. People coming out to tell you, buy this. This can solve all your problems. This is quiet. This is fast. This can process so fast. But at the end of the day, you buy these pieces and you realize that, look, you have been sold something else. And this is the reason why I am actually bringing this PC right to you. If you take a look at it, like I said, it's a HP ProDex 400 G6 desktop mini PC. And holding it like this, you can already tell the difference. It's in a solid, it's sturdy. There is no shaking part inside that will make you feel like you are holding something that is of low quality. Everything looks so super quality. Everything looks so super premium. Take a look at the design. Don't get it twisted. This is coming from the same manufacturer of the HP Lite books, the HP Lite desk, and the list goes on and on and on. So what you are going to have is something that is definitely of high quality. You're not going to be worried if this thing is able to multitask. You're not going to be worried how long this thing is going to be able to boot into Windows. Take a look at the main board right here. You can see that you have an NVMe SSD slot right there. You can go ahead and install a responsible NVMe SSD right there. And when I mean responsible, yes, the problem with the mini PCs doesn't only stop here. They also go as far as the SSD. Not every SSD you see out there can be considered responsible. Talking about a responsible PC, the HP Pro Dex 400 GCs desktop mini PC is one very good example of that. But let's say you are saying, look, hardware money, I do not think an NVMe SSD is just enough for me. You also have the possibility for you right here to install a SATA SSD right here. It could be a SSD, it could be a HDD, one terabyte, two terabyte, depending on what you want to have here, you have the possibility to do that. And right here, looking at me very slowly, I'm so sorry, I can't really flip this the way I want because the hard drive caddy right here is held down by a flex cable and I'm not in the mood right now to take this out. So I do not ruin this PC for whoever is going to buy it off of the hardware mode. But I think you can see that right here is a wireless LAN adapter already in to the system. So what that means for you is that you're going to get this system. All you have to do is just to receive it, unpack it from the box, connect to your monitor, push on the start button, and you are good to go. You're not going to be worried about how long the PC is going to boot up because right here is the secret key to booting Windows very fast, which is the NVMe SSD that's already on board. And you're not going to be worried how you're going to be able to connect to the internet as to listen to the news as to whether TikTok is going to be banned or not. You already have an adapter here. All you have to do is to put in your Wi-Fi code and boom. Well, as if that's not enough, you've got right here responsible RAM sticks. Not just one RAM stick because some of the mini pieces that you have out there, they are actually notorious of making it impossible for you 
to do any form of upgrade. Right here is an gigabyte of DDR4 RAM. But if you say you want to roll with the big boys, you want to do the two gigabytes, go ahead, knock yourself out. And this PC is not going to blink because everything is going to come in right here. PC is going to recognize it. And you are going to be having the best time using a mini PC. All right. I'm just going to close it back because I wouldn't want to keep it open for so long because I understand that some of you right now cannot wait to go to the hardware money shop and take a look at what is right there. I really want to advise you before you make that mistake of buying something that is going to end up coming around to make you angry. Take a look at the hardware money shop. Consider the HP Pro Desk 400 G6 mini PC. And perhaps this video is just so timely because it's going to help you from making the mistake you are about to make. I'm going to go ahead, like I said, close it back there and give you the opportunity of taking a look at this PC once again, exactly the way it looks. And also take a look at what you would expect to get if you finally decide to buy this PC off of the hardware money shop. First of all, take a look at this PC. It looks extremely clean. If you are not told that this is a used PC, you will not be able to tell that this PC has been used because the beautiful thing is that the PCs you have on the hardware money shop are PCs that are used by responsible hands, PCs used in responsible organizations so that if you have them, you can be rest assured that look, you're actually going to be receiving something of very good quality. Take a look at this PC in front of it. You have a USB-C port right there. This is pretty much standard hands down. If you are buying a PC right now and doesn't have a USB-C port, please think again. But then I can understand if you are limited by budget, you might not be able to get this. But if you say, look, budget is not the problem. I just want a PC that will make me happy. Then you want to consider the HP Pro Desk 400 GC mini PC. It has a USB-C port in front of it, like I said. It has a USB 3.1 port in front of it. Not one, but two. And behind the PC, you can actually see that you have a HDMI port right there. You have a display port. You have a V3 port. You have a display port, USB port, USB port, USB port. What more can you ask for in a mini PC? This PC, like you see, is highly loaded. It's got everything that you possibly want in a PC. And there's not going to be that instance where you buy this PC and the PC gets to you. And all that you have to do is to react negatively because this PC right here is going to make you have a very seamless an interesting work time, working with your Word documents, working on your Photoshop work, sending your emails, watching your YouTube videos. And I'm very confident that if you consider to buy this PC off of the hardware money shop, you are definitely going to come in a matter of days to say a very big thank you in the comment section below. Until I see you again in the next video, peace.